Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. In this video, I'll be talking about how to generate Michaelis Benton plot and Line Weaver Burke plot using MS Excel and how to calculate accurate Vmax and Km value using MS Excel. So here I have the data of intestinal dipeptidase enzyme. So I have the data of substrate concentration and the initial velocity of intestinal dipeptidase. So from this data i will be generating michaelis menten plot first so to generate michaelis menten plot you have to select these both the data and the on the x axis there is substrate concentration and on y axis uh, initial velocity is there so to generate the graph you have to go to insert then recommended charts then all charts then xy scatter and then scatter with smooth line and markers and then press ok so here it is michaelis menten plot so if you connect this line you can do it by formatting axis but here i am using markers so if you connect these lines then this is michaelis menten plot and from this plot you can assume what is the probable vmax right so if you draw the line here so here it is the Vmax that is the maximum value of an enzyme catalyzed reaction and if you take half of the Vmax that is somewhere here right and if you draw a line to the curve and you extend this line to x axis then this value it is known as Km so this value is Km that is the substrate concentration at which half maximum velocity is produced right so substrate concentration to produce half maximum velocity in an enzyme catalyzed reaction is called km so here this graph this curve reaches vmax asymptotically so this michaelis menten plot is not helpful to accurately measure vmax and km so for that we have to generate line weaver burke plot so here it is the equation of line weaver bark plot line weaver bark equation and i already discussed how to convert michaelis menten equation into line weaver bark equation so to generate line weaver bark plot we have to take reciprocals of these both substrate concentration and initial velocity so to generate the reciprocal we have to use this formula is equal to then 1 by and select this cell and press enter so this values 0 0.66 it is reciprocal of this right now you have to drag the cell to get reciprocals of all cells similarly you will get reciprocals of initial velocity by doing this is equal to 1 by and then cell address and then press enter so here it is the reciprocal of 0 0.21 similarly drag this and all the values reciprocal values are generated now we have 1 by substrate concentration and 1 by initial velocity so using this data we will generate line weaver burke plot right so on x axis we will be plotting 1 by substrate concentration and on y axis 1 by initial velocity is there so select both the data go to insert recommended charts all charts and xy scatter and then press ok so here it is line weaver bulk plot now to generate the line and to generate equation you have to go design then quick layout and select this layout 9 it will generate the equation for this graph right so here it is the equation right so this is equation so here this is line weaver burke plot and if you connect this line right so here this is y intercept right so this value 1.9978 that is b that is y intercept and it is 1 by v max right and this value 4.2663 that is a 
and if you compare this equation y is equal to x plus b to this equation line weberg equation then a is slope km by v max right so this is slope it is 1 by v max so to get v max right we have to again take reciprocal of this value so it is 1.9978 we have to again take reciprocal of this to get v max so is equal to 1 by and select this cell and press enter so this value is v max right it is v max now to generate the km value we have slope here and from slope we can get the value of km so here it is slope that is km by v max and the km by v max is 4.26 six three now to get the value of km we will multiply this v max to this value right so we will get the value of km so we will multiply the value of v max that is here to 4.2663 and for this we will use this formula is equal to then cell address then multiply by this cell and if you press enter then this value is km right so it is km so km is 2.13 around 2.13 so that is how you can calculate accurate vmax and km value using line weaver burke plot right using the slope and line weaver burke plot here in this michael smanton plot the km value is not accurate because the Vmax achieved here is asymptotical. So to get the accurate km value, we will be using this line river burke equation. And that is how we can calculate km and Vmax using MS Excel. I hope this video is helpful. If you are watching this video till here, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.